Hello everyone, it's Shannon with Shannon's Crafty DIYs. Welcome to my channel. Today's video is super fun, super easy. I just have three really cute last minute Valentine's gift ideas to share with you. Remember, I do post videos every Wednesdays and Saturdays at 7 p.m. Eastern. I would love it if you guys could subscribe and also give it a big thumbs up if you guys like what you see. All right, let's just begin with the DIYs. So I just found these two little buckets from the Dollarama. They were $1.25 for two, which was great. Um, I did pick these up last year, so they do have something similar this year. Um, and of course, you can customize this, obviously, as well. Uh, I was debating to paint the uh, pail a different color, but I just thought it was cute. It's already pink. It's great for Valentine's. So I'm just taking some of this jute uh, twine. It almost looks like a braided jute twine. It was from the Dollar Tree. There was different widths to them and different colors. Um, so I'm just going to hot glue a piece just around the top of the pail. And this is just a tip or a hack that I love to use for the jute twine, especially if it's wrapped around tightly like this and it has those folds or bends in them or kinks as you would like to call it. Uh, I just use my hair straightener. So just go over it very slowly as if you're straightening your own hair. <laughs> Great piece of advice. Uh, and yeah, it literally will uh, smooth out for you. It's just like when I make my, my tassels with the jute twine as well. I also use my little mini steamer as well um, remember it is hot so do be careful there is some steam that comes from the straightener so again just be very careful and can you notice what is on my straightener <laughs> flamingos if you haven't guessed it <laughs> And here I just made a simple shoelace bow and I'm just going to hot glue it to the top of the pail So I've had these stickers uh, for a little while now. I believe I got them at Michael's with a discount. It was the end of the season. Um, I like these because uh, there's two dimensions to them. So I just took the actual heart off and I'm going to use that and hot glue it to the center of the bow. I love that the heart said love in gold letters as well. Now, here comes the fun part. This is just to customize it, pull whatever kind of goodies you want in it. Now, I, another little uh, trick that I like to use is just put some tissue paper at the bottom. That way, it just kind of gives some height to the bottom of the pail. And that way, you can also stack your chocolates or your goodies in there as well. So these are all just items from the Dollar Tree. This was a Giardelli chocolate that I got. Remember, you guys saw me haul that um, Ray Dunn mug and it came with these extra little chocolates. So I'm just putting those in there. Um, you guys know I bought that just for the mug. <laughs> um, yeah, just putting it some with little goodies. And this little jar, I got this for free from a Buy it Nothing site. I washed it, cleaned it, uh, put a little lace ribbon around the top and I'm just gonna fill it with goodies. And I thought it was so, so cute. Now, if you see the things just keep moving or sinking into the bottom of the pail, I love these magic dots from the Dollar Tree. These are used in a lot of gift baskets that I've seen over the years. Like when I go shopping at Winners or whatnot, they've got those get big gift baskets. They use these stickers. It's just like using tape, but it is more, um, I feel like it's not as obvious that you've taped it. <laughs> so yeah, I just use these and stick whatever I need to to hold it in place and this is it now usually what I do is wrap it with some cellophane with a nice little bow but I just wanted to show you guys what to do for the inside so the next one again not really a DIY these are more just fun little um, goodies for your friends and family just taking another one of these cute little pails from the Dollar Tree these were out just this year guys brand new they had another pattern as well and it came with two per package for $1.25 I thought that was awesome so using some of this confetti type grass, I'm just going to fill it with uh, some pink uh, confetti and put it at the bottom. 
again, customize it, fill it up with your items. And guys, look at this cute little hot chocolate flamingo package. I love the Gourmet Village. Do you guys know the Gourmet Village? I just love it so much. My mom gave me four packages of those at Christmas, so I thought they were super cute. I'm just gonna put one in the Valentine's gift and keep the rest for myself. <laughs> and I'm just taking these cute little jars. There were three per pack from the Dollarama for $1.25. I thought they were so adorable. I just added a couple of those mini marshmallows in one of the jars. Again, you can get those mini marshmallows at the Dollar Tree as well. Uh, and stocking it up with a couple little bath items, um, some nail files. I love that. Um, the hand the viva color hand cream guys it is paraben free i had no idea and i love it even more now <laughs> and this is just another cute idea for a gift <laughs> So for this final idea, this is super easy, super simple. I have quite a few uh, coworkers and I like to do little tiny gifts like this or seasonal gifts. So at Easter, um, Thanksgiving, Halloween, I just love doing little care packages like this. So those bowls, you would probably remember, they're little ice cream bowls that came from the Dollar Tree. Those were part of the spring collection last year. So I just, I think there's like a six, six or eight pack. I can't remember now, but super adorable bowl just putting some more grass in there and just filling it up with goodies and again it could be any goodie you want and you will see that i i finished this off with some cellophane And these bags came from the Dollar Tree as well. They're just little treat bags that you find in the party aisle. And I think there was 10 per package. Uh, I like the fact that they're clear and they're like those little mini uh, cellophane bags, which are great. So just bunching it up at the top. And I'm gonna take some Dollar Tree ribbon. Now this was the new this year to me. It was the um, glitter ribbon. Now I'm using it I'm tying it in a bow and I'm like, okay, yeah, it's glitter on one side, plane on the other side i soon discover that it was double sided the glitter was double sided so i don't mind having glitter just on one side so i'm just gonna peel back the whole entire roll of ribbon and i'm feel like i'm gonna get two rolls of ribbon for the price of one if that makes sense And then I just picked up this little package of these felt cupcake stickers from the Dollar Tree. And I'm just going to hot glue it to one of the centers. And yeah, this is how it turned out. Again, super simple, super cute. And everything that I did today, guys, is customizable. You can add whatever you want. I just love the Dollar Tree so much for all of that. Uh, it's great for gift giving, in my opinion that is it i hope you guys had fun with this video got some ideas for your last minute gift ideas remember i do post videos every wednesdays and saturdays at 7 p.m remember this uh, wednesday i will post a dollar tree and dollarama haul video and this coming saturday february 5th it is the five under five challenge again and it is going to be another valentine's themed diy so please stay tuned for all of that that is it guys i hope you have a wonderful day and we'll see you guys later bye